Good evening folks. I don't usually do too many uh, videos. In fact, I don't think I've ever uploaded a video that I did in the house. And this is a little out of my uh, normal scope of videos that I do. I, I usually do Christian videos or forestry videos and I leave the kitchen videos up to Mrs. Wrangler Star and uh, Fresh P and people like that. Uh, but I thought maybe I'd, you know, just as a public service, I, I might do this. I was, I was getting ready to uh, mix up a, a meatloaf and uh, got some really good beef that a fella gave me and I was out of ketchup and so getting ready to put this meatloaf together I I went over to my little uh, stock of canned goods and I thought well I'll get that I'll get a can of tomato paste or tomato sauce out of there and when I pulled this tomato sauce out uh, I noticed on the top of the lid it said 04 in a permanent marker uh, not from the store, but from uh, from permanent marker, handwritten, you know. And I, when I saw that, I recognized that that's a can of food that I've gotten from uh, out of my aunt's house when uh, she had passed away a few years before, and my cousin passed away, uh, and I was cleaning out this house. See, <laughs> and so that can of tomato paste was. Uh, 10 years old and and usually I don't uh, get too concerned about using older cans of food let's see if we can get a little better light on this uh, but I tell you you know this I don't know if it's ever frozen or or whatever but if you run into a can of tomato paste that looks like this. I don't know why the light's going so dingy. That looks like this. Uh, you can see it ain't red. It's kind of... I don't know. It's kind of weird. But anyway... If you ever find a can of tomato paste that looks like this, don't eat it. <laughs> and so that's my public service for today. Don't eat rotten food. Okay, see you next time. Well, just a little, uh, a little bit of homemaker advice. Try to figure out what you're doing before you get started. You can see I, ac I went to make a meatloaf and I accidentally made two. <laughs> and they're... Uh, I don't care what I put in them. I like to put lots of stuff in them. They're kind of kitchen sink. Everything but the kitchen sink meatloafs. So uh, I'll freeze that little one and I'll put this big one in the oven at 350 degrees. And when it's done... I'll delight myself with it. So, God bless you and cook well. <laughs>